Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another meal plan and grocery haul video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. So I am going to share with you my meal plan and then I have a Sam's Club haul and also a very small Publix haul. So this is what I'm planning on for this week. As always, this is just my meal plan. Things could change. I might move things around or we might decide that night that we want something different. For the most part, we stick with our plan, but we do think, change things around once in a while. As always, you can find these meal plans on my website, planningushealthy.com. They're just blank ones that you can print out yourself. They're like a PDF that you can print out. I have two, two different meal plans, I believe, and I have a grocery list and I think like a to-do list. So there's no cost to those. Just go to planningushealthy.com and there'll be a link at the top for recipes and free printables and go all the way down to the bottom and you'll find them there. I'll put a link down below to the actual page too. And as always, these recipes will be linked down in the description box below. There are some things though that I don't quite know. I've just thrown this meal plan together. For example, the smoothies, I don't have recipes for these yet because smoothies for me, honestly, whenever I do make them, I didn't used to make them very often, but I have been making them more lately. And every time I make them, I just throw different things in there. I never really kind of put together a recipe, but I am hoping to put together a video just showing different smoothies that I make. And when I do that, I'll also put together recipes for my website. So keep an eye out, keep an eye out for that. And then I also have their overnight oats. That's because my husband doesn't have a way of blending his smoothies at work. Whereas I do, I can bring a little portable on the go blender with me. So for my husband, I'm just going to do some overnight oats for him. Those are very simple to make and he loves those. They're probably his favorite meal prep. Two of his favorites are the birthday cake overnight oats and then the, what is that? Chocolate chip peanut butter overnight oats. And also the peanut butter and jelly overnight oats too. So I'll find out from him which one he wants. So the smoothies and the overnight oats will be for three days. And then Thursday, I will, Thursday and Friday, I believe I am home. Thursday, I'm teleworking. Friday, I'm off. So Thursday is going to be probably eggs, avocado toast, fruit, and vegetable since I'll be home. And then Friday, I was going to have it on Friday too, but then I'm going to do some chaffles because I want to do, put together some recipes on the mini dash waffle maker and do a video to show different things that I use. So if you're not familiar with chaffles, those are basically just, they're waffles, but they're made with egg and cheese. For lunch this week, I am gonna be doing pizza chicken with broccoli. So I have a recipe for pizza meatloaf that we absolutely love and we usually do for dinner. But one day I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw a recipe from, I believe it was from Meal, Pl Meal Prep on Fleek and I will link them down below, but they have so many good ideas for meal prep and one of the things they had was pizza chicken. It was very similar to the meat pizza meatloaf and it looks super easy to make. So that's what I'm planning on for lunch this week. And I'm just gonna do it with a side of broccoli in the Instant Pot. And in fact, that's what they paired it with was broccoli and it just looked so good. So that, from what I can figure, I put it in my tracker and it came out, looks like it's gonna come out to four personal points for me and about 300 calories in that is including the broccoli. And with the four personal points for me, my chicken breast is zero. So it would be higher if you count your chicken breast. So that will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, probably just gonna do something simple like tuna wrap with veggies. And then Friday, I think I'm gonna do a Greek chicken gyro. I've been making those lately, really like those. I forgot to write the points and calories, but I have those on my website. I'll link it down below. For dinners this week, I'm gonna do mozzarella stuffed pork chops Monday. I actually forgot to buy salmon this week, so I'm not gonna be having salmon. So we're gonna do mozzarella stuffed pork chops Monday night, and I forgot to write down, I'm gonna do, probably gonna do ranch cauliflower with that. The mozzarella stuffed pork chops are six points and 170 calories, and then the ranch cauliflower is two points and 98 calories. So I'll link both those recipes down below. And then Tuesday night and Wednesday night, I'm gonna do sloppy joe casserole. I usually do this for a lunch prep, this makes six. For each portion, it's four points for me and 250 calories. But what I'm gonna do is instead of six portions, I'm gonna make it into four portions. So basically we're gonna have one and a half servings each. So that's gonna make the points go up to six and then the calories will go to about 375. So that's gonna be Tuesday night and Wednesday night. Thursday night, I think I'm probably just gonna do grilled chicken salads just with some mixed, mixed greens and some tomato, cucumber, 
uh, we'll grill, have my husband grill up some chicken and just throw that on the top with some, usually I've been using olive oil and vinegar for my salad dressing, but whatever salad dressing we want. I didn't put points and calories for that because it really just depends on what we end up putting on, on it that night. Sometimes I add a little bit of Parmesan cheese or feta. Sometimes I add Kalamata olives, which I've been having a lot lately. So, and actually though, I don't think, I didn't buy any more, so I think I'm getting low on those. And Friday night, I believe my daughter is going to be home for the weekend, but I'm not sure. And I think we're going to have homemade pizzas. So I put a question mark there because, again, just one of those things that depends on what we have on it. What I usually do with that is pretty much my stromboli recipe that I just don't roll it all up and make it into a pizza. So I'll put that stromboli recipe down below. What I usually do though is instead of like a great big pizza, we each do just little individual size ones and then we just throw them in the air fryer to cook. So it's kind of like the stromboli, just not rolled up. And also another thing that I do sometimes is if I had a whole lot of carbs that day, then I'll do my mushroom pizzas. They're like mushroom cap pizzas. You just use the mushroom cap as the crust. Those are really good too. For my snacks this week, it's my typical snacks that I've been having. Fruit, vegetables with hummus, usually just some carrots and carrots or celery with hummus. And then nuts, cheese, and cottage cheese. And I've also, since I've been in the smoothies lately, sometimes I've been having a smoothie at night, just kind of a snack smoothie, so I don't put like protein powder or any, anything in it. But I have, you know, things in it that are things that are good to have at nighttime, like maybe a little bit of almonds, maybe some kiwi, banana, the type of things that are good to have before you go to sleep. So that's pretty much what I have during the week. And then the weekends, I don't usually plan ahead. This here is just a plan to get me through the week when I'm working. But when it comes to the weekend, we just kind of play things by ear. So now I'm going to show you my Sam's Club haul and my Publix haul. In my videos, I try to share WW points and also calories. But keep in mind that WW points are different for everybody since we have our personal points now. However, some of the points are the same for all of us, like cheese and things like that. So those ones I will give the points on. So I'm going to start down here with the water, which my husband has already torn into and put some out back. So we got a big thing of water. I got some avocado. Which, by the way, I just realized that you can freeze avocado. So I don't usually go through a whole bag of avocado. I use them more on the weekends or like if I'm teleworking, but when I'm working, I don't necessarily use them as much. So when I buy a package of five, I usually only use maybe two or three. So I've been freezing them. I tried it this weekend and it worked good. You just freeze them, throw them in your freezer hole, and then take them out and run them under water for a little bit, maybe about 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes and then cut right into them and they're good. It's just like regular. I also got a thing of eggs, some carrots, some spring mix, some grapes, which are huge. The size of those grapes are huge. My kiwi, which I actually ran out of this week and I was completely lost without it. If you follow me, I pretty much have a kiwi every single day, usually in the morning and at night. I also got a great big thing of ground turmeric. I pretty much put turmeric in everything these days. I also got a thing of bananas. And then I also got some broccoli, some red pepper hummus. This kind is two points for two tablespoons or 60 calories. And then I also grabbed the single serve of the classic hummus. I like to take these and mix the uh, everything bagel seasoning in it and kind of make like an everything hummus. But these ones I was thinking was just the single size, like the two tablespoon, but they're not. They're a lot bigger. They are, I think I said two and a half ounces. So for this kind, it's five points or 180 calories for one of these. So I was thinking that I could take these for work, but what I think I'll do is just measure out two tablespoons of this hummus and use that for work. And then these ones, my husband and I usually like to have some carrots and hummus at nighttime. So I think that this will be perfect for us to just split because I didn't realize these had that much hummus in it. And then back there I had, I didn't realize that Sam's sells the vital proteins, collagen peptides. That is just the protein powder that I like to use. The serving size on this is two scoops. And then for the two scoops is 20 grams of protein and 70 calories. But a lot of times I'll just put one scoop like in a smoothie or something. So for one scoop, it's zero points. If you do the two scoops, it's one point. One scoop is zero points and 35 calories. And then of course it would bring it to 10 grams of protein. 
I also got some unsweet almond milk for one cup. It's one point or 30 calories and half a cup is zero points. And then I got some mixed nuts with sea salt. This kind has cashews, almonds, pecans, pistachios, and hazelnuts. And that is five points for an ounce, which is about 23 pieces or 170 calories. I also got some string cheese. For this one, you can have one for two points. And if you have two of them, it's three points. And then it's 50 calories for each one. I got some uncured Canadian bacon. This is one point for four slices or 20 calories per slice. These are pretty much like the same size as the, I think it's Jones Dairy Farm that you can usually find in the regular stores. I got a great big package of Baby Bell cheese. We like to just snack on this occasionally. For this kind, it's three points or 70 calories. I also got a big thing of high fiber wraps. These are just great for honestly anything. You can make so many different things with these. For these, it's one point or 50 calories. I got some honey for this. It's five points for one tablespoon or 70 calories. So I've been using honey and just regular maple syrup on things. M normally for syrups, I like to use the monk fruit, uh, monk fruit sweetener syrup. It's a, like a pancake syrup type, a maple syrup that's the Lakanto monk fruit kind that I get from Amazon, but I'm all out of that. So when I don't have that, I've been trying to use honey or just regular maple syrup and just use a smaller amount of it. And then we got some more animal crackers. We just like to get those when we're there. Our grandson loves these whenever he comes over. That's pretty much what he'll ask for. Nana, where's the crackers? But if you like these and you're counting points or calories, you can have 16 of them for five points or 120 calories. I think you can actually have 18 of them for the same points, but. And then I got a couple of things of coffee. Usually when we go to Sam's, we splurge and get Dunkin', but I didn't do that this time just because it's a price thing for me. These are $8 and the Dunkin' ones are $20. So I just went ahead and got two of those. So that's it for Sam's. And now I'm going to show you my Publix haul. Okay, here is my little Publix haul. I told you it was small. So I got some fresh ginger and also some green onions. I stocked up on more of the Good Culture cottage cheese that we just absolutely love. I will not buy another cottage cheese again. I know a lot of people have a hard time finding this. I'm honestly not sure where else to get it besides Publix. That's the only place that we have it here. So put in the comments below if you get it anywhere else besides Publix so that other people know where to get it, where to find it. Because I have some people that have said that they can't find it anywhere at their local grocery stores. For this kind, you can have three quarters of a cup for two points, and if you're counting calories, it's half a cup is 80 calories. So again, if you find this at a store other than the Publix, please put it down in the comments so other people will know where to get it. And then I did get some maple syrup. So again, I don't use this on a regular basis. It's just something that I use every once in a while in a very small amount. I also got some peanut butter. They had this kind on sale at Skippy Natural. This kind is seven points for two tablespoons or 190 calories. And then I haven't bought pudding in a long time. If you watched some of my earlier hauls, my husband and I lived on this pudding. We used to eat it all the time, but I kind of got to a point where it was bothering my stomach. So I don't know if it was the dairy in it or the sugar free. So I myself have not eaten this in a long time. I might maybe have one once in a while, but my husband does still like to snack on it occasionally. These went up since the personal points. These are now three points instead of two and 70 calories. And then over here, I got some chickpea rotini. This is the Barilla brand. I've been getting chickpea pasta, but I've been using the Banza brand. So I'm curious to see if this kind is any better, if I even notice a difference. For the chickpea pasta, it's only four points for a two ounce serving, as opposed to six on most regular pastas and 190 calories. And then I also got a couple of things of Wonder Bread. This, is, it was BOGO, so I got two of them. This is my husband's favorite bread to have with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Occasionally he'll have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at nighttime, and that is the bread that he loves having with it. So what I usually do is take about half of it and put it in the drawer because he won't eat it, and I don't I don't eat this kind. So 
I'll take about half of it and put it in the drawer and then the other half I'll freeze. Just put a piece of paper towel in there. So a tip, if you freeze your bread, put a piece of paper towel in with the bread and it makes it so that the bread doesn't come out as hard. Sometimes when you freeze bread and you take it out of your freezer, it gets a little bit, it can sometimes be hard, the texture. Not real hard, but it's not as soft. The paper towel will help to keep it soft. And finally, I got some ginger turmeric herbal tea. I've been trying to have like tea once in a while. I really, really, really want to like tea and I've just never been a tea lover. So I've been just really trying to have add tea once in a while. And a lot of you know, I've been trying to add ginger and turmeric more of it to my diet um, just because of the anti-inflammatory effects that it has. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm hoping that I like it. I'm trying to figure out a way that I could maybe add this to like a nighttime smoothie. I'm going to try and see if I can figure something out with that. So that's it for my grocery haul and meal plan this week. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. It's a